Let's look at JDK enhancement proposal number 359 records. This will be in preview mode for Java 14. As in previous examples, we're going to look at the motivation and what users and developers actually used before Java 14 data transfer objects, value objects, plain old Java objects or Java beans, you name it, whatever they could use to um, have containers for, for their data. Such data containers, um, we look at desperate and extreme approaches, that would be anti-patterns. Anti we would look at the pattern that is actually functional, but produces a lot of uh, boilerplate, and we are going to look at what records brings new. We're going to analyze the records properties, and I think the most important take out of this video is the tremendous amount of lines of code that can be eliminated by using records. For this set of examples, the source code is available under the package com, github, kbnt, java14 records. Here we would imagine that we build an application that, for example, reads um, data from a database about persons like first name, last name, and, and the age. And for this, I, I will introduce from the very beginning an interface called person. And for this interface, we define the methods first name, last name, and age. You will see towards the end of the video why the names are cho chosen like, like this and we don't see regular getters. When bringing the information from the database, we need data containers in our Java world. And a lot of you have heard terms like data transfer objects, which is not necessarily a data container, but it's a data transfer. Um, it's an object to do data transfers, value objects. Um, in the past, people would use simply plain old Java classes, Java objects to uh, contain this, this data. Uh, they would use Java bins, but the problem with them is that all of them are, are way too, too verbose because we wanted to preserve certain capabilities that we, we, we learn in the object-oriented programming classes like encapsulation. Um, I'm presenting right now a very, very desperate example of hosting data uh, this is the this is what a very frustrated developer with um, frustrated with the boilerplate code would do just declare a container sometimes you want to do that container serializable but that's not necessary and just have public uh, uh, public fields like first name last name and age actually this should this one should be um, integer here but this is definitely not a go this is a no-go uh, clearly not recommended to to use this approach but um, this is how desperate people can can get the example i just presented was obviously an, an extreme definitely not uh, recommended to use it in in that fashion but let's take a look at how a decent data container would would look like so I define a person class that implements the method, the interface that we just discussed earlier, person. So you can see the almost getters, like the accessors for, for these fields here. The first name, the last name, and the age. We declare the fields uh, as private and final. So note that this particular implementation is immutable. And then we have a constructor to, to initialize them. Then Towards the end, I leverage my IDEs capabilities, in this case, uh, Eclipse or Spring Tool Suite. Other IDEs have similar capabilities. Uh, there are even code generators based on annotations. Uh, to produce hash code um, equals, so overrides for hash code equals and to, to, to string. Uh, to be able to compare the state of um, to, um, to objects of, of person class. However, if you if you take a look at all the amount of code that we've written here, uh, it's uh, 61 lines of code. The reality is that we are just interested in in this part here, a container for our data. Let's look at how we can actually use the person class we uh, defined earlier in practice. So um, the class called records, again 
com github kbnt java 14 records package is the main class for for our example and it contains a, a, a method called get person which actually returns us the the interface that we were interested in so right now the code is constructed in such a fashion that it returns the person class we uh, we were looking at um, a little bit a little bit earlier and all we want to do is get this person and display the uh, values of the the fields see what are the uh, what the hash code and the uh, the string representation of the class represent and in the end we want to actually compare uh, two different instances of the same class using our equals method so without further ado let's compile and run and in this example we have a person called Mickey Mouse he's 10 years old this is the hash code uh, the string representation that we uh, implemented actually Eclipse generated for, for us looks like this and obviously two persons with the same first name last name and age would be considered equal in our our implementation in our code base we have a different implementation of the person interface called person record the one that we we see here so compared to the example we just run we're going we are going to comment this line that returns a person class and instead of returning a person class we're gonna return a person record for now let's not look at the person record let's just rerun the code and see what it produces so we do again a compile and run so the first name is gonna be Mikey we just got a goofy name here called our record as last name still 10 years old similar behavior for hash code to string and again the equals method uh, returns true because the fields are are the same now it's time to see how this person implementation as record looks like as you can see only one line of code right the rest is just javadoc commentary so this is the new preview that we get in java 14 about records let's briefly look at the capabilities or the properties of of these records let me start by saying that GP359 does a great job, the documentation of this GP does a great job listing all the uh, restrictions and capabilities of, of records. Here I'm just going to summarize them, but again I strongly rec recommend that you read the GP by, by yourself. And I'll start with the last one, which from my point of view is one of the most important. Records are shallowly immutable. Um, I'm not going to dive into what shallow means versus deep. For now, think about them as they should be treated as immutable and don't try to uh, mess with this capability. Keep it like that. It was intentionally that done in that, in that fashion. Now, other syntactical, um, actually I shouldn't say syntactical, but uh, rather capabilities that come with records are uh, each component that is defined comes with a private final field so the compiler generates that for, for us there is a read accessor and that's why you saw the person interface declared the names of the methods the way it was and they were not getters and setters by the way records are not supposed it's, n it's not within their goal to replace java beans then uh, the compiler also generates a constructor that we can leverage for populating these fields and it has the same um, same look as the, the state description we're gonna look in a bit at that for us it generates the equals the hash code and the to string um, we've done some simulations with the persons class earlier um, to see how the compiler might generate them it doesn't mean that the compiler um, uses the same algorithm and then there are some uh, restrictions like they cannot extend another class uh, they cannot declare other instance fields uh, whatever they declare inside them themselves must be must be static or you can do overrides of the constructor but that's that's not very recommended um, they are implicitly final and they cannot be abstract i will finish this video by emphasizing the fact that the number of lines of code that we we save uh, by uh, leveraging records um, is is tremendous 
So if we do a rough math here, we talk about nine lines of code. And again, this is just a commentary uh, versus 69, which means we achieve the same capability by using roughly 15% of the lines of code um, you'd, you'd normally use pre-Java 14. That being said, go ahead, use Java 14, uh, leverage this capability, which is records. And thanks for watching. See you next time.